Hi, welcome to Project Geospatial. I'm Adam Simmons, and we are here at the NGA booth at the GEONT 2022 Symposium in Denver, Colorado. And I have the pleasure of talking to Rob Shields. You are the Director of Analytic Technologies, is that correct? That is correct. Yep. And uh, let's uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, how you got into GEONT, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Well, uh, I've got a, a good background. I started really uh, at NGA uh, over uh, you know, almost 14, 15 years ago now. Uh, working in CIOT, uh, uh, my background's in engineering. Um, so I, uh, I worked in, in, in CIOT for, for a good number of years and then bounced around, went to Source, uh, uh, where I was the technology executive within Source. And uh, most recently, I am now uh, the, the director of analytic technology uh, within analysis. Excellent, uh, so yeah. what does that mean, being the director of analytic technologies? What is your roles, what do, what is, uh, what do people come to you for? Yeah, so uh, I wear a couple hats uh, within, within uh, NGA. Uh, one is the director of analytic technology, uh, and our main job there is uh, we are uh, part of the integrated program office for analysis services, so also known as IPA. Uh, and, and really what we do is deliver uh, technology to support the analysts, right? Um, so a number of different services that we provide uh, is uh, analytic services. So think of things like uh, big data processing, uh, making sense of a lot of data. Uh, we have uh, uh, exploitation services. So your, your traditional uh, electronic light tables uh, that the analysts do most of their imagery exploitation off of. Uh, we do advanced geospatial services, which looks at a number of different phenomenologies and how uh, we can have interactive exploitation with those uh, phenomenologies. And then last but not least, we do orchestration services, which is really something that brings it all together, uh, really utilizing the entire workflow uh, uh, and, and enables the anal analyst to do uh, reporting uh, out and, and get the, the good information and intelligence disseminated out to the entire NSG. So are you the first line before technology reaches the analyst in their workflow? Would you say that? Uh, yeah, so we are, and, and really what we provide uh, as part of the IPA uh, is uh, my office is responsible for really guiding uh, and prioritizing, uh, providing the needs to the, the solution provider uh, so that they can develop the technology. So we, we do the prioritization, we define the needs, and really uh, work to ensure that the technology that's delivered by the solution providers uh, is something that, from a mission perspective, is something that the analysts are going to be able to receive, utilize, and and like. Well, that uh, makes sense. You yeah. don't want to take a technology and just throw it in their hands. And you're like, well, this is a fit in my workflow. You know, right? Right. Uh, well, how am I supposed to use this? Yeah. You know? So our our office is mostly what they call product owners within the agile development uh, terminology. Excellent. Yeah. Well, uh, I got a couple big questions here for you. Let's see. Here, we the first one is, what kind of tools do analysts prefer, and why? And uh, what can you say about that? Yeah, so from a tools perspective, um, it is funny because analysts love all different kinds of tools, right? Um, but, but really, uh, from, from a commonality perspective, what they really enjoy about tools, first and foremost, uh, easy to use. Uh, it's gotta be intuitive. Um, and and um, the second big piece about having tools that work is, is the most successful tools that we, we deployed are, are uh, tools that work directly with the analyst workflow. So uh, uh, not a lot, of, uh, a lot of analysts aren't very fond of you know, going outside the workflow to use this tool, and then they gotta go outside to use this tool. They want it all in one place where they can do it all in an integrated fashion from, from uh, start to finish. As, as much as we see all this amazing technology on the floor, what impresses me most by going back to the analysts is they, uh, they seem to care a lot about the, the things that affect them right in front of them. For example, yep. the, your data aggregators, your your data conditioning things, you know, hey, I just want to convert something. I don't yeah. need to do anything else. Yep. You know, things like that. Are, are you still dealing with that level of simplicity with some of the demands and requirements from just the, from, from the, uh, from the front? Yes, uh, I mean, you, you mentioned data. Uh, data is a big piece of what we do, right? So, um, uh, the, the simple tool, not the <laughs> complex thing yes. all of the time. Yes. Um, we, and here, uh, great, great capabilities provided by a number of different folks. Uh, you're really cutting edge kind of stuff. Um, and, and really, yeah, from, from an analyst perspective, they want the simple things that work uh, and, and that uh, are dependable and reliable and, and just easy to use at the end of the day. And that fits right into their workflow. So uh, 
really uh, what are we seeing here at GeoIn is really helpful is that a lot of these uh, uh, vendors are providing common APIs that plug and play right into the existing tools and workflows of the analysts. So that's really great. Uh, so it does get a little exquisite here with all the, the, the nice, cool, shiny objects. Uh, but uh, a lot of the vendors are really producing those in a way that, that plugs and plays right into the analyst workflow. Excellent, yeah. awesome. Uh, well, my second big question here is, uh, Vice Admiral Sharp has put a big emphasis on a collaboration and innovation at Moonshot Lab Imperatives, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so how have you seen this culture change or uh, affect, the, uh, affect the workflow? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, one, of the, one of the other hats that I wear uh, is I am the, uh, the NGA lead for the Analytic Workflow Modernization Mission Imperative. So uh, there's four mission imperatives that support the NGA moonshot um, and enable the, that, that moonshot. So um, analytic workflow modernization is really uh, how you do all those things, right? H how you introduce that automation. Uh, and, and really, uh, analytic workflow modernization has two, two primary objectives. Uh, the first and foremost is to increase the speed uh, so that the analysts, uh, you know, one of the things that we find, right, is that the analysts do a lot of, they spend most of their time doing things other than analysis. Um, so uh, think about it, they're doing a lot of research. Uh, they're looking through a lot of imagery, trying to find, uh, find things, right? And, and, and then they spend a lot of their time trying to, once they, they assess that and analyze it and pull it all together, uh, they, they spend a lot of time pulling together reports and, and a lot of things that take away from their ability to do the analysis. So one of the focus areas of analytic workflow modernization is really automating uh, and, and accelerating the speed of all those other rote tasks, right? Which enables the analyst to do really the second objective of AWM, which is, is really deeper insights. So enabling them to spend more of their time doing the analysis uh, so that they are able to do more forensic kind of analysis where they can look back over years and, and kind of really pull together an analytic uh, story, uh, pulling together patterns of life, looking at uh, activities and behaviors, uh, objects, relationships, and how all those things come together. Um, so, so what we've really seen a lot of is, is in those two areas, uh, analysts really starting to, to adopt and, and, and pull into their everyday workflow uh, the, those things that are really speeding up their, their, their capabilities, um, things such as computer vision, um, which is really computer-aided exploitation, which helps them to find objects within imagery um, so that they don't have to spend all the time doing that, right? And then they can do that analysis. Um, so th those are some of the, the big areas that we've seen. And, and another one that we're doing really a lot of work in uh, that analysts are really, really, uh, really um, uh, adopting and, and, and um, putting as part of their everyday job is, is automated reporting. So uh, having automated templates for reporting that uh, automatically uh, compile reports and disseminate those with little to no review based on the analyst preference. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, so uh, with all of this analytic modernization you get to work on, uh, how much is also um, helping the uh, analysts adapt or adjust for cultural changes based off of traditional workflows? Yeah, so uh, you can deliver the best technology in the world, but if, uh, if you don't spend the time with the analysts to help them adopt that technology, and they don't understand it, if they're intimidated by it, it's gonna sit on the floor and, and not be utilized. So we spend a lot of time, and we've realized a really good benefit of, of spending the time with the analysts, understanding uh, their particular mission set, um, and, and uh, we do de dedicated user engagement sessions with those uh, analysts that last up to six weeks long where we work with them, understand the specifics of their job and how these capabilities can work within their job. Um, because uh, every analyst's job is, is a little different and, and you can't just uh, provide uh, an off-the-shelf kind of capability of computer vision here, use it um, without any uh, instruction and, and uh, working in that adoption piece with the users. Excellent. Yeah. Well, uh, Rob, is there uh, my last question for you? And it's totally unrelated to everything you've just discussed. But what words of wisdom do you have to inspire a younger generation who are trying to find their careers uh, and perhaps hopefully go into geospatial? Uh, it's an exciting time. Uh, that's what I would say is, is that uh, we are really pushing the envelope on a lot of really cool capabilities. Um, geospatial and geoint is, is really uh, the theme of the, the, the conference is the foundation for all intelligence. Uh, it really appeals to a lot of folks in terms of it provides that, that picture, that picture that is worth a thousand words. 
Um, and it's a great field to get into, a lot of growth opportunity and a lot of uh, areas to excel and, and uh, challenge yourself. Excellent. So looking forward to uh, bringing on the best and brightest talent uh, to support uh, the mission and uh, support national security. And that could be you. <laughs> well, thank you, Rob, for joining us and giving us some, your amazing insights on your job and uh, NGA. Uh, uh, thanks so, a lot, Adam. Appreciate absolutely. it. Uh, this is Adam Simmons. We'll talk to everybody next time.